Sports. The free agent domino started to fall at 12.01 last night, but the big one fell today at 8. LeBron James has officially decided to leave Cleveland and become a Los Angeles Laker. The King, who has spent 11 seasons with the Cavs, has signed a four-year, $154 million contract with the Lake Show. During his time in Cleveland, James has done nothing but bring excellence to the team, including their first NBA championship in 2016. LeBron led the league in minutes for the second straight year, made the all-NBA first team for the 11th straight season and appeared in the finals for the eighth straight time. Now the Akron Hammer will bring his talents to the Lakers turning over a new leaf in his NBA career. In the majors, the Reds can tie their series with a win against the Brewers. Red Legs wasting no time. Joey Votto rips an RBI double into right field in the bottom of the first. Jose Pereza scores. The Reds drawing first blood. Next man up is a Eugenio Suarez. He goes into right field as well. Tucker Barnhart is in. 2-0 Reds. And then Scott Shebler decides to switch things up, going the other way to bring in Joey Votto from third. The Reds ready to roll today and in the sixth. The Reds have the bases juiced and you already know what's going happen. Peraza flexing his muscles on a Sunday afternoon. Good night, Dave. That's his first career Grand Slam and third home run in the last five games. The Reds beat the Brewers 8-2. The Indians are 1-4 in their last five games after hitting their season-high record of seven wins in a row. Tie ball game in the top of the fifth. Jose Ramirez changes that in a hurry, doubling into left field, scoring Francisco Lindor from second. The Indians take a 2-1 lead. In the seventh, Edwin Encarnacion unloads on a fastball, crushing it over the center field wall. That's RBI number 56 for Encarnacion. Indians halt the A's win streak at six. Tribe on top 15 to three. As for the Tigers, they have now lost 11 games in a row. Will it ever stop? Tie ball game in the top of the fifth with the bases loaded and Nick Castellanos wants to start the month of July on the right foot. Drilling one to right center field for a grand slam. The Tigers take a 5-1 lead with his 13th homer of the season and in the top of the ninth, Jacoby Jones decides to add on some insurance. A 9-1 decision snaps their 11 game losing streak. Great Lakes League action tonight. The Locos try to avenge yesterday's loss to the Copperheads. However, they drop their second straight losing 8 to 5. As for the Mariners, they win their sixth straight game, defeating the Sugar Beats 7 to 4. Switching our bats for clubs. Tiger Woods hosting his annual tournament in Maryland. Eldrick on 8 has a long birdie putt in front of him, has the speed and creeps it in the side door. A classic fist pump from the knees as he grabs back to back birdies. Then on 16, more vintage Tiger. The downhill read is perfect for Birdie, and we see another pit fist pump from Tiger. He shoots a 66, finishing in fifth place, but the day belonged to the overnight leader, Francesco Molinari. After shooting two under on the front nine, he starts the back in fashion, the Italian working the eagle putt across the green and right into the cup, and he wasn't done yet. On 13, a sizable putt for Bird, feeling the flow as another one pours into the bottom of the cup. Four straight birdies as he says challenge to the rest of the field. Molinari shoots a 62 to put him at 21 under for the tournament, an eight-stroke margin of victory for his first ever PGA Tour event win. Switching gears to NASCAR, we head to Joliet, Illinois at Chicagoland Speedway. Stage one, Eric Almarola running strong as he takes his first career stage win. In stage two, we have some drama between teammates. It's a Stuart Haas racing battle between Kurt Busch and Kevin Harvick. Contact is made and Harvick ends up taking the stage. Bush not too happy about it, but here's where all the real drama unfolds. And of course, Bush is involved. It's a battle of the Kyles as Kyle Larson drifts up into the 18. Contact is made and Bush holds steady. They go side by side in turn three. And here's where Kyle reminds us why he is nicknamed Rowdy. Using the chrome horn to start the bump and run on Larson and the 42 spins. Bush going up into the wall, but he recovers just fine and sets his sails for the checkered flag, holding off a charging Harvick. Bush taking home his fifth win of the season. Larson giving his respect to Bush with a thumbs up on the cooldown lap, so no bad blood there. But for the fans, well, that scene should explain it all. When we come back, we head out to the tennis court, see who is named the city's best double team right after this quick timeout. Welcome back. Champions will be named on the tennis court as we find out who is the best doubles team in Lima. Starting with the women, the Will sisters of Mackenzie and Miranda from Ada taking on UNOH grad Andrea Brown and LCC's Olivia Kesner. First set, both teams feeling each other out until Brown takes advantage of the high return, smashing one past the one seed taking an early lead, and they never let up. A great point here as Kesner just builds a wall and doesn't let anything get by her. Brown and Kesner take the match 6-2-6-2. The instructor-student duo are your women's city champions.
It was really great. She's a great player, and she kind of keeps me calm and relaxed. And each point that I miss, it's all right. It's the next one. We got it. She is really my best friend. <laughs> like, we, we see each other every day. We help each other. <laughs> it's really great. She's one of the best players in Lima. She's the best player, high school player in Lima right now. So it's very exciting. We play probably, what, three times a week together. We know each other's game, and it was great playing with her. On the men's side, Shawnee's Michael Rudder is paired with UNOH grad Jeff Brown. They take on the Shawnee duo of Jeff Arthur and former state champion Dave England. First set, it's Arthur returning the serve into the backcourt and finding the line. A great shot behind his opponents. Then his partner goes cross court with the forehand. Arthur and England take the game, but here comes Rudder and Brown, both playing up close and personal at the front of the net. Brown taking care of business here. They take the first set, and in the second, Rudder shows off his cat like reflexes. Another teacher student student combination takes home the city title. Brown and Rudder winning 6-3, 6-3. It really clicked together because he's my coach and I learned from him so he knows everything that, I, that I'm bad at and that I'm good at so he, he knows how to complement everything. You know it's just good to get out there and play doubles with him you know like I said you know I, I'm a perfectionist on the court you know he knows that here. Um, he looked a little tight in the beginning here, but then he really gelled into it, you know. It's just more to uh, go out there and have fun with it. And I told him just to relax, you know, play percentage tennis and we'll be all right. 